Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be a singles new love reading for my dearest Geminis. Gemini, we're going to take a look at who's coming towards you in love. And if these messages resonate with you, I am going to ask that you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's see what clear messages and guidance come through for my dearest Geminis for their highest and greatest good. Clear messages and guidance for my Geminis, please, for their highest and greatest good. All right, we've got the Eight of Swords, your person, the Death card, Scorpio energy. All right, so they're showing up as the Eight of Swords and the Death card. What they like about you, the Ten of Wands, okay? And what else you need to know, the Five of Wands. Okay, so some of you, this person is getting out of a relationship or is possibly getting out of trouble with the law. Some of you, this person may have been incarcerated. Um, this is somebody who's definitely transformed their life. They've been through some major changes. So it could be a divorce, a separation, could be becoming free. <laughs> um, I don't mean to laugh about that, but they... Um, this is somebody who's been through some sort of major transformation, getting out of a karmic situation. With the Three of Cups, there's going to be fun, flirting, dating, having a lot of fun. I feel like this has potential to be quite an exciting connection. All right. So let's see. Eight of Swords is Gemini energy. This person may be a bit of an overthinker. This person may be a little bit nervous to tell you about their past or what they've been through. Okay, whether that's problems with the law or whether it's, you know, a really bad breakup. Um, or, you know, maybe even dealing with vices, um, addictions, things like that. Of course, it doesn't have to be that. It's just they're a little bit nervous about telling you about their past, okay? Um, the Queen of Wands tells me this person's going to be very fiery, very passionate. I do see that this person is most likely getting a lot of attention, Gemini. Um, and so just be aware of that. They might have other involvements when you meet this person. Or you might feel like you have to fight for their affection. Because everybody kind of wants a little piece of the Queen of Wands, right? Because she's very sexy, she's very, you know, she's fiery, she's charismatic, you know, she really does control the energy when she walks into a room. Um, so I'm loving that. I do feel there's this person is quite spiritual or they've been doing a lot of spiritual growth and healing from whatever they've been through. Um, but I also feel like this person works with law of attraction and just attracts a lot of partners. I'm not saying that they necessarily get with a lot of people, Gemini, but I feel like they, they have that energy right? And the wheel of fortune. This is somebody too, who may have built their own business. If they came from nothing, they probably are quite successful. I'm seeing this person having even flashy things, but like nice car, nice house, or just nice things. This is somebody who has done quite well for themselves. And I also feel like they've, they're really like, they're a go-getter. They've really picked themselves up with the queen of cups energy. You're being asked Gemini to really trust your intuition when it comes to this person. But I'm also seeing this person has a very compassionate, very creative side. And for some of you, they might be receiving a considerable amount of success for their creativity. So again, this could be someone who was a starving artist for quite some time, who's starting to blow up or receive attention, you know, that type of energy, possibly a musician or a poet, okay, or a writer. I love this person's energy though, because they are fiery, they're charismatic, but I do see them getting a lot of attention, Gemini. All right. So just, just be prepared for that. This is someone who has some sort of charisma, this, some sort of magnetic pull when it comes to, you know, comes to people. All right. There's also a lot of potential here. And with the wheel of fortune, I see there's potential for forward movement. feels like they're on, on your path for a reason. All right. So we do see that this person has done quite well for themselves. They have a lot to offer and they've worked hard to achieve their success. So for a lot of you, they have like a rags to riches story. It may not be for all of you. Okay. But I do feel there's something there about this person having like a dark past or a difficult past, but they're definitely, they're, they're definitely on top of the world right now. Or when you're meeting them, they're on the up and up is what I'm getting. This person may have a little girl. They may be a single parent. Um, or this person may have a close knit relationship with their father. And this person could be a little bit older, or a little bit younger than you. And they definitely have that entrepreneurial spirit. I mean, I can't move away from it to save my life here, Gemini. Okay. So this is somebody who has put their ideas to work for them. They work hard. They're investing in their future and they're doing quite well because of it, or, you know, they will be doing quite well because of it. 
All right, so this person could be a Scorpio or have Scorpio placements. Again, this is somebody who has transformed their life. This is somebody, like I said, they either came from nothing and now they're doing quite well for themselves um, or they've had a bit of a dark past, but they've been able to transform that. I feel like my gems, you're gonna, you're gonna respect this person for that. All right, let's see what else we need to know. This person's intuitive. They're intense. They're also, there's a very like, ex I want to say like erotic, exotic energy about this person. All right. They may be in their thirties. They love animals and they may have an unusual name. Okay. And performer. Yeah, I did get for some of you, this person's quite artistic. Um, let's see what else we need to know here. Some of you I'm getting like Vegas vibes. I just heard Vegas. You might meet this person in Vegas. Maybe they have lived in Vegas, want to live in Vegas. Some of you will marry this person in Vegas. <laughs> All right. Some of you, that I'm just getting dancing too coming through. And for some of you, this person may have been an exotic dancer, like when they put themselves through school or in the past, or maybe even now. Again, that is not going to be for all of you out there. All right, my Geminis. So just again, a lot of messages coming through, but it's not going to be for all of you. How else will you be able to recognize this person? They hum often. All right. So they're very musically inclined. They're physically active. I feel like they're physically fit and they may own their own home. So this is somebody who has some stability and they have an odd numbered birth year. Okay. I like that. I like that energy because again, this is somebody who's worked hard to achieve their own success and they have a lot to offer. All right. Um, this person may still work really hard and I feel like that's something you're really going to respect about them. All right. So let's see. Yeah. So they may have a career with the government, teacher, police, military, fireman, court, or legal and construction. Some of you, I'm just getting a message. This person may have done like exotic dancing to put themselves through law school. That's not for all of you. It's just a, such, a, such a specific message there. All right. And again, for some of you, it's not going to resonate at all. All right. This person is definitely, they dress trendy. They may wear wigs, heels, casual or dressy, but this person always looks good, looks put together. And they could be a fire sign. So Leo, Aries, or Sag. And they also are quite romantic. All right. So they're going to wine and dine you or they like vacations or bring you flowers and gifts just because. Okay. So what they like about you, Gemini, is the Ten of Wands. So I do see that this person is a hard worker and they really value that about you. Okay. Like they value somebody else who works hard. You may be juggling a lot. Okay. And, and again, I feel like this person is someone who will come in and help you, you know, bear the burdens of every day. Some of my Gemini's out there, you are entrepreneurs yourself. All right. And so this, again, you're going to connect on that level. And yeah, this person seeing the potential with you, but they also see this potential for growth and stability. This person's not here playing games. You know, they're looking for a partner. They're looking for someone who can really get them and match their energy because this person is strong. Okay. And for some of you, this person may be crushing on you before you know it. The six of cups tells me there's going to be an automatic soul connection between you and this person. And it may be because you share past lives. Maybe some of you, you have known this person before. Um, we do get the Queen of Cups and the Knight of Swords coming out here at the bottom of the deck. So I do feel things will happen fast. I do think this person's going to take initiative and send you a message. Gemini, I do feel this is something that's quite in alignment with you. So let's see. The Six of Cups mm, also tells me, yeah, past life soulmate energy. Again, this could be, this person sees this very sweet romantic side of you as well, Gemini. All right. And what else they love about you? We get the fool so that you fearlessly reveal your emotions and you help people laugh at absurdity and hypocrisy. So I like this energy because with the fool card here, it's telling me, Gemini, that this person like, and it's such a Gemini quality, especially my Venusian, my fellow Venusian Geminis out there, you know how much laughter and joking is part of, you know, your love language. So I feel like this person really likes that about you, but they also like that you're authentic with your emotions. They love that you serve others with a free and loving heart. So you're very loving and very giving. 
you know, you're going to, you know, this person's going to feel like you really take good care of them. And at the same time, this hedonist energy, Gemini, so that you're also creative, but you embrace the good things in life. So good food, good wine, you know, good music, nice vacations, you know, they, they like this aspect of you and that you celebrate the beauty in life and in yourself. Ooh, Gemini, this is going to be, you're going to connect on a physical level. That's kind of like no other is what I'm getting. It feels good. It feels lush. It feels quite exciting. Very, very sexy connection here, Gemini. All right. So with the five of wands, though, there may be some conflicts here. Like I said, this person may be getting a lot of attention um, there. You know, you and this person might also have high work hours or busy, you know, busy uh, schedules. Again, there might also be something in this person's past that does make you a little bit uncomfortable. All right, so unhealed wounds are blocking forward movement. So there, there may be some obstacles in making this something solid, stable, and secure. Some of you, it's a friendship that's leading to more, or Spirit's just telling you to focus on the friendship in the beginning, really build that solid base, that foundation for the two of you, and you are safe and divinely guided. You're being protected. And I also feel like this connection is also being protected. All right. And at the bottom of the deck here, we do get this energy of longing. Someone is secretly yearning for you and they might be low key obsessed with you, Gemini. Okay. Before you, before you know it. All right. So I like this. And the three of cups can also indicate here that this is somebody within your community, within your friend group. Okay. So let's keep going. Let's see what other messages come through for my Geminis regarding this person. It's a very romantic connection. It's also going to be funny, fun and lighthearted, despite the fact that there's depth and intensity here as well. So a little bit of everything. So we get this energy of freedom. For some of you, this person has freed themselves from a very difficult past, a karmic situation. Um, healthy space and room to breathe is going to be key for this connection to last. Um, you are manifesting this. They might also be very manifesting you. Spirit saying very soon your true love will arrive and love language gift giving we see that coming out twice this person is going to give you small gifts tokens of reciprocity hold cherished memories or that's going to be your love language with this person and spirit saying let go of the past all right clear your energy to um, allow more love in your life and for some of you you might have to you know be quite open-minded about this person's past okay which I, I feel like for my gemini's is not usually a problem um, but let's see, clear messages and guidance for my Geminis. Can we get important dates here for my Geminis, please? All right, we see slow movement, so, and sooner than expected. Yeah, and we see that friendship energy. So things like this person may come into your life pretty quickly, or maybe, you know, you already know who this person is, but it does feel like it may take some time to get off the ground. And, you know, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that, taking your time getting to know someone um, before you get invested. All right, Geminis, I'm going to leave it here. I'm sending you so much love and light. If these messages resonate, don't forget to hit that like button, share, subscribe. Check out the description box for ways you can get a private reading or if you like the cards I'm using or if you want to follow me on TikTok and Instagram. Love and light, Geminis. Take care.